the Grace Down Podcast. I'm Jonah. And I'm TNT Don. I might the explosive one. Let's crack him. Oh, I'm sorry. We have a very special guest wow. with us today. I'm back. I'm back, back again. I'm back again. I came back for this Who is shit. It? You thought he wasn't showing up. He's here. I'm here. He I'm here. Up again. I'm here. You ready for some conservative takes? Need to get some TNT off the math. Here we go. He it's Mr. Mis- it's Mr. X. He don't that- like you. Mr. X. Or me. Okay. Um, Let's crack into another one. So, how are you going to say that? I don't know. <laughs> no, you know that's you know that's not. I true. He loves he everyone, said. actually. No. HOAs. What? <laughs> what? Everybody Home hates o- an H. Say wh- Homeowners <laughs> Association. Yes. This is what HOA stands for. HOA. So you live <laughs> in a place, and then you pay someone to tell you how to take care of your house. And that you can't have your garbage cans out. Uh-huh. And that you can't have uh, weeds in your front yard. Yep, and, nope. your, and your foliage is overgrown. Yep. And your backyard's got too many stripper poles in it. Yep. Whatever you need. And, no. But maybe... maybe No, you got to get HOA approval to install the stripper pole. Yeah, that's, maybe yeah. they got a pool at the end of the road. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a perk. Perk. Questionable perk. Are we paying HOAs? Is that is that something that happens? Condos do, neighborhoods do, yeah, all mm-hmm. those big allotments that they build where, up. There. Where does the furniture that so, uh, supports so an HOA? Full, where does that come full, from? Full well, you pay fees to the HOA to every the month. You pay rent. So full disclosure, I am on the board of my HOA. This mother this Mr. X, I, I thought you were a good man. I you did are too. The gayest well, man I've ever met. I know. I it's <laughs> And the, and that's not be, and that's and that's not because I liked it. And that's okay. But, yeah. but no. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. But, Are you a covert op? Are hold you- on. Well, let me tell you why I got on the HOA board. I know you've got a story. I don't want to that's hijack fine. it. No worries. Let's let's hear about Look, your. Are you the mole? I moved into my neighborhood about a year ago. Almost. I mean, almost to the day. It was right at a year ago, and I immediately started getting what I call love notes from the <laughs> HOA about my 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 uh, all my plants being dead. Like the house I moved into, the plants were all dead, and like the yard looked like crap, and it was just like. Like, they were not up to HOA standards. No, like no. Like, hey, you need to remove this immediately or we'll fine you. You need to fix this immediately or we'll fine you. And then I kept getting love notes about where my where I had my, tra- my trash can stored. Like, they were still within view that was not hidden enough who's the damn hoa nazi well the the apparently they they had someone that drives the neighborhood twice a month and just takes pictures of everything oh my they god can what a nar- but no she is she is like paid but she's the hoa manager like they have a private company that manages the hoa for the hoa and that's her job paid to do it job to run around just yeah and i, and I hate it so i chose i said well Fuck these bitches. I'm getting on the board. <clears throat> so okay. I so, so I right. ran for the board in hopes that I may one day affect some change. Covert I op. I am 100% mulling it in there and, and I'm trying to. How did think. you get votes? Did you pay people off with beer? No. Turns out no one else ran. So it was <laughs> no one else wants to do that job yeah. either. So <laughs> I'm on it. You're going to be like, if you don't have a party once a week, fine. Yeah, that's right. I'm like, we're changing these rules. Oh, I love yeah. that. Mr. So, X. Okay, so I, I take I, back all the negative things I said about you. Well, you don't have to. It's they're most of them are true. Uh, but that's fair. Yeah, yeah. There you go. So I am on the HOA, so I've got a little bit so of insight. Here is an example of why HOAs are so terrible. <laughs> okay. I'm here for it. Two children were having a lemonade stand in oh, their neighborhood. Oh god, I've heard about this kind of stuff. Yeah. And someone from the HOA called the police on them and made them shut down their lemonade stand because it was against HOA rules or they were like selling things without a permit or like they called the cops and then they found out the kids lived there and they still made them shut down the goddamn lemonade stand because it was against like HOA rules or something to like have one. Okay, that, guess, that, that doesn't all commute, compute, but go ahead. We're gonna guess talk. what race it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it sounds like white on white crime. I'm just going to say. Mm. Is it, do we do we know? Yeah, or? they're all white from the Okay, yeah, it sounds, oh, well, fuck that you, sounds right. like that sounds like Karen on white crime. Nah, there. it just like, looks like I played the race card. Yeah, you did, yeah, and and I it mean, and it was wasn't the Trump thing. card you hoped for. I know, dude. Um, I was guessing, but so usually the police won't enforce HOA rules. 
Very rare. In fact, they never, at least here, I don't know where this was. Do we know where this Wait, was? Hold on. Uh, Truth, not facts. Where was it? Let's see. I don't, you know, honestly, I'm I'm kind of pro HOA, to be honest. I kind of feel like it's a good idea. I think that it, it keeps the community, it holds the residents accountable for how they keep their property. That's it. Oh well, my God, it's a, they were donating their proceeds to their church on oh top God, of it. Of course it was. <laughs> oh, that's so Probably awesome. an atheist that turned them in. Um, so here's the thing. I... I agree with what TNT is saying. Is that they, they do serve a purpose because they do, like, in theory, they're supposed to kind of keep the neighborhood in good shape. Well, right. And, you don't want people having cars on bricks yeah, in the like front trash yard and, and stuff. stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the problem is it's fine until they do it to you. Well, they also, it's like a lot of the people that do that stuff, they're like, they want power somewhere, and then they get drunk because they got some power and can tell people what to do well they like well because that's thing everybody has their own standards right yeah and so they all want like i'm pretty sure the people i'm pretty sure i was getting turned in for some of the stuff by and i'm pretty sure i know who it was but that's the thing i don't like you it, paper their house and make the hoa tell them they had toilet paper in their yard and i thought about it <laughs> but i couldn't but that's things mm -hmm. i couldn't then they know i couldn't you know they don't tell you who's turning you well, in right yeah which i think is kind of chicken shit i think you should if someone i think it was like look you can turn people in but they're gonna know you turned them in and so are you sure are you sure this is as big a problem karen as you think <laughs> are you it sure is? This is as big of a problem because you might be starting something with your new You're neighbor starting a war with, right it's like because you I'm, know your neighbor john so, has a lot of guns right, right. <laughs> so i guess i have i have a question here as far as like jurisdiction and power uh -huh. like what can an hoa actually do it's all civil Right, they can. Okay, it's they all can, civil. So they have right. So all right. So the HOA, at least here in Texas, they have legal rights granted to it by the neighborhood before you ever bought into it. Yeah. So they they predate your rights, and they can basically they 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 can basically put a lien on your house. What? And they can charge you fees and make it more and more uncomfortable to the point where they could eventually some of them can actually foreclose on your house. And kick you out of it. Like, Are you serious? It has to get pretty serious for that. How, and I think it's pretty rare for that what, to ever happen. What law is in place that? No, can there's allow law. There's laws that allow HOAs because Texas. Really? It's a pro so in theory, it's a private group of people that created a subdivision that. We all agree that these are the rules and we can sue each other under these rules and or whatever. Each other. It's like and those bars that can let people smoke inside even though like it's a private club. And yeah, can... it's a club thing. It's yeah. like, hey, we're, we're all private citizens. We all agreed to this. And when you bought into the neighborhood, you signed something saying, I've read all of these the bylaws and I agree to abide by them and for under penalty of whatever penalties there are, right? Right. Can you refuse to sign they that, won't let you move that in. individual they won't, they document? They won't let you move in. Like you uh, can't. Part of the agreement to get in the cult is you sign their blood oath. Yeah, exactly. Wow. And that's the that's the blood oath you sign is the HOA restrictions and documents and stuff. And I kind of hate that. Oh no, I hate it too. Like I would much, I would actually rather live in a neighborhood with no HOA and just live with the no, trashy neighbor. No, no, no. See, I I like the public shaming aspect <laughs> of it. There's no public shaming. It's leaving yeah, but if you can't do door. anything, if you have no power to do anything to those people, which there are neighborhoods like that, like where where they have HOAs that have no power. Like, the, like, yeah, you have an HOA, but it's optional to participate. That's a thing, too. Okay. Well, and, I agree with that. I, I, I'm 100% but they can't for the enforce public anything. shaming for the, like i can put up signs in your yard or some shit or like i can like you can be embarrassed like you will become a pariah to the entire community but you want to take my property nah well, that's that, a little insane no it's way insane i will like, fight you to the supreme court but like for that I, I i i recently got a 50 dollar fine because of where i keep my trash cans <laughs> Like they charged me fifty bucks, and it made me really, but, really angry. What happens if you just say "fuck"? I'm not paying your fucking fifty Eventually, bucks. Well, they can start attaching those. Those they can keep fining me. <laughs> no, you can't. I have a lawyer. No, they no. You, your lawyer's gonna be. Like, your lawyer's bro, go. I, no, you agreed to this contract, bro. I hate that. Well, that's and that's that. HOA. So you so you don't want to move into an HOA neighborhood unless you're cool with all their all their crap because you're in. And you like gotta this. read that contract before you sign. And it. no one does. No one. Because like, it oh. might be like firstborn child sacrifice yeah. to they the put, gods. They put the deed restrictions or whatever or HOA rules in front of you, and you just gotta sign it and move on. Yeah. Right when you buy yeah. a house. 
you don't realize what you're signing up for. And they tell you what it is, and then you just say, "Okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah. let me get let me yeah. get in the house." Nobody reads them closely, and, and I, I don't know, man. I just I just don't agree with that. Ha- them having that much power, it almost feels like they have like like even if they decide that they just don't like you because maybe you're a rude neighbor, but you still keep your property up to date, that they can they can enact certain rules against you just because of like their own personal. Well, feelings. they can't do that. Like they can't change the rules, but they can enforce different rules and then i think if and that's where i got mad because like with the garbage can thing lots of people have their garbage cans in places where you can actually see see them this is what i'm saying and that's where i was like you know and i started asking questions like they're like well you know where you're keeping yours is more visible bubble and i'm like i don't feel like y'all are fairly enforcing this right now and that's one of the reasons i got on the board i'm like okay we're gonna see if this is what's going on. This is what I'm talking about. When a straight white man has had an issue with the HOA taking being discriminative against you, you oh. know that there's a problem. Well, if, All right? If so, you, look, if, if he's you, having a problem, if you, you know well, that there's a problem. You, you got to understand my neighborhood where I am a severe minority in my neighborhood. Oh, uh, dude, you in a, you in a Chinese neighborhood? A, a mostly Indian really yeah oh, mostly yeah, indian dude, they, yeah. Man, and, man. and yeah and i am i am not i am a 100 percent a yeah, uh, we we all know about indians right wow right <laughs> That's right. We have for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe for I, Jonas. I don't know what to do with that. TNT and Mr. X. Uh, we have-